This video shows a method for determining the number of sulfur groups in sulfonated cobalt phthalocyanine. The analysis is based on the sequential oxidation of sulfonated cobalt phthalocyanine with potassium permanganate and hydrogen peroxide in an acidic medium, followed by precipitation of the resulting cobalt sulfate with barium chloride. This gravimetric method can be used when physical methods such as NMR, IR and HPLC are not available. Sulfonated cobalt phthalocyanine powder was thermostated in the oven at 120 degrees Celsius to constant mass. Then a 1 gram of sulfonated cobalt phthalocyanine sample was taken. For the decomposition of sulfonated cobalt phthalocyanine, two phthalamides and release of cobalt cation plus 2, it was placed in a round bottom flask, equipped with a reflux condenser and boiled in 30 ml of orthophosphoric acid for 2 hours. After this time, 3 g of potassium permanganate was gradually added to the hot solution with intensive stirring until a persistent red purple color appeared. Then, to oxidize phthalamide to an oxide and replacement of the sulfur group by a hydroxyl group. With parallel formation of cobalt sulfate, the mixture was cooled under stirring in the air for 5 to 10 minutes and 60 ml of hydrogen peroxide was added in small portions until the solution turned pale pink. Then the excess peroxide was removed by boiling the resulting solution for 30 minutes. The contents of the flask are transferred into a measuring cylinder and diluted with distilled water to 300 ml. Then acidified with 1 ml of hydrochloric acid and heated to boiling. The resulting solution is then precipitated with 32 ml of 25% barium chloride, solution heated to boiling to form barium sulfate. The becker with the contents is placed on a boiling water bus while steering for one hour. Then the baker is removed from the bus and cooled for four hours at room temperature. The upper transparent layer was decanted without affecting the sediment. Next, the precipitate was washed twice with hot distilled water previously acidified with hydrochloric acid. The aqueous layer was decanted and the precipitate was transferred to a blue ribbon filter. The precipitate on the filter was washed with hot distilled water from barium chloride until there was no sample for chloride on. Silver nitride test for absence of precipitate. The filtered precipitate was dried, transferred into a crucible and calcined to constant mass in a muffle at 700 degrees Celsius.
The results were assessed using the formula. Thank you for watching.